Sea Guy 1948 here. Dragging another mower. Here's a Grasshopper 226V. It's a 26 horse commercial engine, Briggs. And we just hit 880 hours on the meter. Has a 61 inch deck, I believe a 12 gallon fuel tank. And the top speed's supposed to be nine miles an hour. Got a fuel gauge on it. Cup holder that's kind of weird. <laughs> a ROPS bar, which is pretty nice. I'm thinking about maybe come up with some sort of canopy to go over it. I don't know, it'd probably get hooked on trees and stuff and ripped off. Looks like they had headlights on here at some point. Because this did not have the headlight option. Those are blank plates. There would have been a light here and a light there. I guess that's always an option. But uh, I don't know how much mowing we'll be doing at night with it. Nice seat. I really like this seat. It's super comfortable. Tall back. has a seat belt. You're gripped in. Doing hills. I'm not too worried about falling out of it. And this thing will do a fairly good slope on it. Has a little rubber grommets. I don't know, grommets, bushings right there. If you can see them. So this pad's all cushioned. It's pretty nice. Tall tires, 61 inch deck, really heavy build stand on it. Actually, it has a step there. But, yeah, I thought I'd do a little overview. This is a 2012 or 2013 model. This here says it was for 2012, so it was probably sold in the 2013 year, so it's probably 2013. Has a few little issues. It needs the oil changed, of course, and the air filter. You could use a new one. Previous owner said that these valve cover gaskets were leaking. If they are, it's a very slow leak. I mean, there's a little wet under there. So I'll probably pop those off and put new gaskets on, check the valves while we're in there. Once I get all that stuff ordered, got a good deal on it. But uh, needed something a little bit bigger and more robust for some of the places they're getting mowed. That bad boy does a good job, but this here can, uh, I think it's going to survive a lot better with some of the thick grass that we're getting into. The only downside is that 61 inch deck. It's kind of hard to get into some areas. Like in between those two mowers there. I could just move them, but this here is a little tight. It's 54 inch, I can get in there and maneuver around. But there's a lot of spots like that. This is great for wide open fields. So yeah, get your parking brake. Your throttle. PTO key, brake light, choke. 880 hours, your light switch would be there. There's little switches in the arms which kept messing me up because <clears throat> actually I had the brake on. I kept trying to turn the clutch on. <laughs> Couldn't figure out why I, the engine kept dying. That was why. Real big tires. I'll uh, park this next to the bad boy and you can see the size difference because this is a whole nother level. Here we got the bad boy. You can already tell the size difference. I kind of cleaned it off. And Washed it. It needed it. 10.4 hours. I'm due for an oil change. Break in oil. Supposed to be changed at 8. That darn parking brake. 